Hi everyone, it's Tracy Lewin. And Satoshi Nakamoto reporting about something brand new. <laughs> yes, very, very brand new. Bitcoin Cash. What is Bitcoin Cash? Oh, Bitcoin Cash is people took my baby and they made a new baby. <laughs> well, they're about to make a new baby. Yes. Uh, so what's going to happen is um, it's actually a very important day in the history of Bitcoin because the, the, um, the network is going to split into two two diff different ways. Uh, the, maybe it's the, you know, the, the, high, the, the highway road and the, the, the difficult road. So the question is, which one should be the one we take? Yes, which one are we going to take? So, so what's actually happened is, um, as you said, there are just, you know, this fork in the road, a soft fork and a hard fork. And um, yeah, very, very interesting days. But, you know, let's have a look at how, how it all began. So it all actually started when, uh, um, you know, we had these two different camps, uh, Bitcoin Unlimited and uh, Bitcoin Core. And uh, what actually ended up happening is there was an agreement to go into a segregated witness. But it seems that the Chinese uh, ASIC manufacturer started to code a fork, Bitcoin ABC, but then they later renamed it as Bitcoin Cash. That's right. And um, I see that uh, VIBTC, uh, um, that they are going to do a Bitcoin mining pool and also, or Bitcash mining pool and also an exchange. They are indeed. And um, the interesting thing about this, this code is that it's going to be a fork of, of Bitcoin without seg SegWit, segregated witness. And it's got a very, very large uh, block size of eight megabytes. Yeah, very interesting. And um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens and how many people are actually going to support Bitcoin Cash. Yes, and um, this is actually uh, just taken from the bitcoincash.org website. And uh, they actually say here, pretty interesting, uh, August the 1st, 2017, we the people will breathe new life into Bitcoin. That's right. And so, so what they're saying is that this is the people's real coin. So now we're going to see which coin the people will actually support. Yes, they are saying that there's not much minor support at the moment. Um, but, you know, after tomorrow, it's going to be interesting to see when, uh, you know, what happens when people who've got Bitcoin um, end up having some Bitcoin cash as well. Yes. And, uh, you know, they want to sell it or do something with it. What will happen to the prices? So, but let's have a look at the features. Uh, what are the new features of this Bitcoin Cash? So, firstly, um, you know, as we mentioned just now about the uh, block size limit increase. I mean, quite large to eight megabytes. Yeah, eight times larger than a normal Bitcoin block. So, that's quite interesting. And they also have a replay and wipeout protection. Well, this is in the case of another fork or something happening. And, this is, you know, so that, um, uh, you know, we can't get double spending or that your coins don't get wiped out. As well as a new SIG hash type, which is also part of this replay protection technology. That is correct. Very, very interesting times. But, you know, we've also heard a lot of news about the different exchanges that are um, either going to be in on it or not in on it. And let's say, you know, Coinbase, Coinbase has decided not to. But here's a huge list of um, exchanges that are going to be supporting uh, Bitcoin Cash. Well, the ones that stand out immediately is via BTC and Kraken, and that are both supporting us. So, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting development. And Bitfinex. So, yes, That's very fine. interesting. So, you know, if you are holding your Bitcoin safely and in your personal wallet, um, you are going to be credited with the same amount of uh, Bitcoin cash on the chain. That's right. So you will have Bitcoin and uh, BCH in your wallets. You will. And, but the only thing is that, you know, after, after that actually happens, uh, firstly, you know, you shouldn't be trying to transfer uh, anything uh, after just after the split. You need to just hang on a little bit. But also, you need to split these coins if you want to trade, trade either one. That's right. So that's going to be interesting to see how people handle this. Well, you need to be a little bit careful there because, the, you know, this is, this is an opportunity for people to come out and say they're going to help you um, split your, your coins and then, um, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you don't have any coins. So be careful there. Um, we're the split helpers. <laughs> yeah, we're the splitters. 
And um, and also just remember, if you are um, on an on a non participating exchange, you definitely are not going to be credited with Bitcoin Cash. That's right. You won't get your Bitcoin Cash, and um, I don't know what will happen to it. The exchange will probably take it and pocket it themselves. Yeah, interesting times. But yeah, I'd like to hear their comment on that. Yeah, I would too. Here are some uh, some quotes. Um, actually, I got this off a, an article by uh, CoinDesk. So, um, I don't believe most most holders expect a longevity of this chain past the point at which they immediately dump their free money to purchase Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And people want to double their coins. Nobody is selling Bitcoin. And you know, we've mm -hmm. just seen the price move up now. And I'd recommend getting your Bitcoin off exchanges. Well, we've been recommending that for the whole last year. We have indeed. So the question is, will you be supporting Bitcoin Cash? Interesting question. And, um, you know, leave us your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Just go below this video. Firstly, subscribe to our channel. And then leave us a comment and tell us, will you be supporting Bitcoin Cash, yes or no?